with the baby hair queen. If you could zoom, it'd be like. That, 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 that. Uh, hi, I'm Sky Townsend, <laughs> born Skyler, but you could call me Sky or Beyonce or Justin Hernandez, depending on the day. But today I'm going to be Sky. Okay, we're on. Show for show. <laughs> so Skyler was when I was in trouble, right? So I always kind of identified with Sky because as a kid, I felt like Skyler just sounded like negative. It just sounded like Skyler. Oh, Skyler. 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 It just sounded negative. I did not like Skyler. I did not really just, I don't know. I didn't identify with it. Um, but as I became an adult, I kind of started looking into what the name meant and I found out it meant scholar. That's ironic because I'm the only person in my family who didn't go to college. So I'm the scholar of the family, don't like my name, and then I find out something else, that the name means uh, somebody who has a sweet, melodious voice. And then I go, ah, ah, okay, something clicks because I'm a singer. Um, and I kind of just, I don't know, I felt like I had decided it was negative just because when I was a kid it was negative, but as I became an adult it started to kind of grow on me. Um, but. It was very interesting because when I started going out, now with me being an entertainer, Sky is the name of choice. It's Sky Townsend. So when I'm out in public and somebody goes, Skylar, I'm like, so if I hear Skylar, I know like this is somebody who really knows me and it kind of feels more like home. It's it's kind of it's more personal. It's like because everybody knows me as Sky that if I hear Skylar, then you have to know me on a different level. And it's almost kind of exciting when I do hear it. Um, there's certain family members who are just like, I'm not getting on the Sky train. My sister's like, oh, I'm supposed to call you by your celebrity name. You wish. And I'm like, whatever. <laughs> don't be a hater. In the words of Justin Hernandez, don't be hating on me, girl. So anyway, so then I was like, whatever. You don't have to call me Sky, but. It is interesting because certain people just did not adapt to it. They were like, you were named Skylar and that's what we're going to call you. Um, but as I got older, I kind of, it grew on me. I feel like when I'm more calm and I'm more introverted and I'm by myself, I do feel like Skylar. But the performer in me is just screaming Sky, you know? So when I decided to be a singer and an actress, I had to decide if my name was going to be Sky or Sky Townsend because I wasn't going to be Skylar. It just didn't sound like an artist. I was like, no, it's Sky. And, uh, you know, my dad was like, please keep the Townsend. Like, you know, I, I, you know, it's your name and da 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 da. You're the next generation Townsend. And I didn't really understand at the time the weight that my name held. I was kind of just like, oh, okay, I'll make my dad happy. Sky Townsend. And their Sky was already taken, so I'm shady, but whatever. <laughs> so Sky Townsend was the choice, right? This other lady had Sky, whatever. Props to you, girl. You got it first. Um, and uh, as I got older, I started to see, okay, this name is kind of getting me in places. Whether I have a reservation somewhere, they'd be like, last name? I'm like, Townsend? They're like, oh, okay, we'll be right with you. I'm like, right, ma'am? What do you think? Um, so it was interesting because it started to open certain doors, and I realized that especially in the black community that my name held a lot of weight, and people were kind of willing to meet with me more, to hear me out more, to look at my music, or maybe see what I had to offer because I was a Townsend. But um, it also came with a big responsibility to actually be talented because if my dad represented standing for you know, something of substance in the black community and genuinely being funny and positive images for black people. I can't just come out here, act a fool, and then be like, I'm a talented y'all. So I knew I had a responsibility with it. And even as a kid, I mean, he drilled it in my head like a little baby soldier that like, make work, you know, that will make me proud, make work that will make black people proud, make work that will make you proud. So I already knew like, I'm a Townsend and I have to make stuff uh, that makes, the people around me proud and that I will be proud to show my kids one day. I don't just want to do something quick uh, just for a quick dollar because at the end of the day that's my name and that's my legacy. So I kind of started to understand that as I got older and I'm not really mad at Sky Townsend now. I think Sky is a little too share for me. You know. Well, you know, it is funny because certain people follow me and I don't, I just don't believe in putting it on blast when you're a celebrity kid. It's so corny. It's like, just like people being like, do you know who my dad is? Do you know who my mom is? My dad, my dad. It's just like, shut up. So I don't really post stuff unless it's like Father's Day. And then they go, she's a Townsend. It makes sense. And that's always a cool moment because it's like, you know, my dad was one of the only male black comedians who did not put on a dress and he really stood for something he was like listen like our images are so powerful and and we have to be so cautious of what we put out there because kids are always watching and so i think people kind of associated the townsend name to staying true and making positive images for people of color so now with me being older and a comedian myself it's really dope because i'm very picky about the comedy that i do i mean i just received a movie and 
it was just like really like you want me to act like really really but yeah now I, I kind of fully understand um, that it's really important for me to be cautious about the work that I accept and the jobs that I accept knowing that uh, my dad's entire career was based off of self-respect and not making images that made people of color look silly. So I think, um, especially even as a comedian in general, I have such a responsibility to just be cautious of the work you put out because not only, you know, are we laughing, but people who do not look like us are laughing at the same comedy. And it's like, do you really want them laughing at us or with us, you know? And I think that there are so many incredible characters that black women can play, but we choose to still accept the really awful ones because we just want work and uh you know i look at my dad and he created the work that he wasn't able to book and i just want to go down the same path and kind of create the characters that i want to see myself playing um and just continue that responsibility to make images that people who look like me are proud of anything else you want to say about your name uh you're gonna see it everywhere so don't get sick of me <laughs>